cleansed and cleared. I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone who is here and all the energy that you bring. It humbles my soul and heart to see everyone down here doing the energy work that we're doing. It makes me so happy inside and out. I just want to start off with talking about when my journey began with this beautiful lady here, my amazing mother. She's been an incredible spiritual guide to me the whole way through. And she's taught me everything that I know in regards to all of this beautiful work, the sound, frequency, the energies of the earth, and beyond. And I'll be forever grateful for that. So thank you so much. The beginning of my journey was a lot of this when we first started off with both of our learning paths that we've both been on, me and mum. Both started off with kind of the ancient civilizations. That's where a lot of my fascination began. I, I could see the information that was in front of me, but the truth didn't resonate. So I was forever, for years and years and years, searching for the answers to come to the understandings of the reason and the purpose behind these incredible sacred sites that we've got around the earth and the reason why they're all connected and how they are. And after many a years of discovering how they are connected and the reason and the purpose for them, it started to then kind of then question the land that I lived on myself and where I am and the significance to the energy of this, this island and how it's interconnected with the rest of the country and the rest of the globe. The first instance of kind of hearing of energy work wasn't necessarily the nicest of energy work, what I, what I come, to, come to know. A lot of our information that me and mum have discovered over the years of finding the truth of this reality and the makeup of it and some of the people that are controlling this reality and how they are dictating our energy spaces and affecting all of us as people. First going up to the Longstone after having information and knowing that and wanting to go up there. I was walking up with a friend with some dog, a couple of dogs and we were going up there. And, that, uh, and being a young age as well, having the difference between my own ego trying to come in and tell me that some of this stuff just sounds crazy, this is all mad, it can't be going on. But then having my mum show me information and the, the truth feeling like and resonating inside of me. And having a confirmation from the universe of going up there and meeting a certain lady up there that delved into some information which is not very pleasant and not very nice but what it did is ignited the fire inside me to know that something needed to be done something needed to be changed and all of us need to be able to unite and come together to be able to make a difference towards the energy which has been imprinted onto this island and how it is to see and to connect with all of you beautiful souls that i have over the last year and a little while has been just so incredible if one of the moments in my own self and our own journeys that we all go on through the darkness that we get plummeted into, where we find that light in that darkness. Lovely Lily was the first lady that I ever connected with. And from being plummeted into that darkness and being up in that loft in your, in your, in your house and go, almost going into very much monk mode, like in taking in every information I could, I used to sit there for hours listening to Alan Watts lectures, hours and hours and hours, almost went through his whole discography of lectures and just downloading that beautiful information while I was doing that. From that kind of moment there, I then started to get more into kind of taking on, on my own sound healing for myself and learning a little bit more about breath work and things like that, starting to kind of change my whole kind of being and how I'm choosing to take control of my own energy field in my body. From that moment, having an absolute profound experience in my breath work and my tuning forks, I was left with a lot of questions. I was kind of sat in my bedroom, like, what was this experience that's just happened to me? It's absolutely incredible and beautiful. Just someone like taking the cap off the top of the head and going <laughs> From that experience, I started to then reach out online to, to certain souls and lovely Lily was the first soul to reach out to because I had lots of questions and thank you so much. You helped with them answers to start me with and led me in the direction of meeting beautiful souls like all of these. And from there, I then went to go and video message Lisa on the first instance and I instantly felt at home as soon as I saw you. It was the first time I felt like I'd been seen by somebody, which was the, the most humbling feeling for my soul. From there, we then started to then organise them coming to the island for the, the ceremony last year, which was just a magical experience for me because it felt like it was fulfilling elements of my soul that I never knew that needed to be fulfilled. And for them to come and clear the energy and lift the energy, to be able to open up all of the energy fields and all of the beauty, beautiful beings of this multi-dimensional everything that we've got going on at the moment. From that instance afterwards, a whole wave of learning and, and, and discovering multi-dimensional elements of myself and other beautiful people that I have around me and knowing that we are sovereign beings of light 
and we are the ones that can take control and we can change ourselves and all of the people and the land that we've got around us. It's been an absolute incredible journey, just, it, just, just this last couple of years and my whole life through all of the learning and wisdom that mum's passed through. It's even now I'm having moments now where from the information that mum has channeled through for me that are coming in now for me, which are bearing relevance and keep bearing relevance more and more. This, the essentialness of the, how frequency is the, the makeup of everything that we've got around us. And we need to use these tools to be able to heal and help our, ourselves and others. And from these moments now and these instances of being around people like this at the moment and seeing the shift that we've got in this planet at the moment, which we are all experiencing, we can see the shifts that are happening. There is going to be immense amounts of people that are going to need to heal their inner traumas and their inner knowings of the reality that we live in at the moment. And we are going to be the characters that are going to help to heal these people. And it just sings to my soul that I've got almost like an army of light workers along my side and with each other and where we are going to do it. And the differences that we've already done in all, all of our own journeys and all of the own works that we do and the differences that we're going to now make towards other people that are going to need our help and our healing. I just want to thank you all so much and I will be forever grateful for all of your energy and all of your souls and I hope the rest of the evening goes fantastic for you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you.